Hi, I'm Heath from Shogun International in the Philippines. I'm here to show you some of the features of our new 2014 Toyota Tundra. This vehicle has been converted from left-hand drive to right-hand drive, and I'm just going to explain some of the technical things that we've done on this vehicle with regards to the conversion. Uh, first of all, on the inside of the vehicle, First of all, on the inside of this vehicle, we've obviously managed to retain the original manufacturer's uh, look that they had intended for the vehicle. Um, we've managed to get all of the intricacies that they intended, uh, including things like the, so this is a platinum edition, the stitched fascia panel on the front here. We've managed to make it exactly the same, the same thread color, the same padding to give you that, uh, that very distinct look on this particular model. The non-platinum model, the lowest spec model, just has a single, it has the same kind of a uh, insert, except it just has a double stitch running along it, um, not so intricate as this one here. Uh, just having a look at the airbag panel on this car, we've actually utilised the original airbag from the original dash. So as far as deployment goes for the airbag, uh, all the original characteristics are retained on this vehicle. Um, Having a look, we've actually we've we've incorporated the trim panels. Uh, these are a painted, so this vehicle is the platinum model. Obviously, the colour is uh, very very similar to that of the original vehicle, and we've uh, mimicked that on both sides of the vehicle. The original glove box has been retained on this vehicle. We have actually done an improvement to the glove box. This vehicle is fitted with a pollen filter, and the pollen filter is accessible through the glove box uh, compartment. Inside the glove com box compartment, we've incorporated this panel on the inside here. With the removal of these uh, plastic clips, you're able to remove that panel and therefore change the actual pollen filter itself quite easily for service. Under the air conditioning, under the air conditioning unit itself inside the vehicle, we've uh, fitted an under tray uh, to the vehicle. That under tray is basically it's for two two reasons. It's an aesthetic look, as you can see this carpeted panel under here. Now it's for aesthetics, so it looks nice when you look under the under the uh, dashboard. The second uh, reason that we've obviously done this is um, it's a double redundancy for the heater box. If there, for some reason, if there is ever a leak or you're getting a condensation build up because of a high humidity area um, or that kind of a situation, uh, normally you would have water dripping on your feet. Um, well, this here, this is a tray which is designed to uh, trap that moisture and therefore it will then channel it to the outside of the vehicle. So it actually has an external drain and it's um, uh, the actual tray itself is made from fiberglass. It's got uh, carpet on the one side uh, for aesthetics. On the other side, it's um, a highly polished uh, gel coat finish on the other side. And uh, obviously, so it's water resistant. Uh, the air conditioning on this vehicle, uh, we've managed to retain the original characteristics. Our flow rate of 7 metres per second on each vent has been retained and we're able to, uh, we've able to balance the vents evenly to make sure that we get the same amount of airflow out of all the vents. All of the ducting has been remade for this vehicle and the ducting, like all of our conversions, we polish all of the ducting and I can show you some samples of that. Same as the RAM, uh, we polish all of our ducting uh, behind the dash and we also put an, insulate, an insulation co uh, cover on all of our ducting which prevents any of the parts from uh, abrasion or from uh, having any problems with rattles and things like that. It's just a safeguard against that. Uh, all of our vehicles obviously are road tested and uh, we have some uh, uh, some conditions here where the roads are not so good and all of our vehicles we never have any problems with any rattles and things like that in the dashes. Um, so all of the all of the controls have been switched from one side to the other for the dual air conditioning system and that all works as it's intended to work. Uh, we've actually made a new centre console on this vehicle and our final improvement which we're actually working on at the moment is to make a new insert. We, we uh, prototyped the first vehicle as a non-platinum so the bottom of the range vehicle uh, which uh, when the platinum model came out it had a um, the leather stitched insert around the gear shift. So what we're actually doing is we're making that insert at the moment uh, to suit that vehicle. So this vehicle within a week will have that new insert made and we will uh, fit that to the vehicle and even on the bottom of the range vehicles we will fit that as a standard feature to all of our vehicles. Uh, all the electrics on the seats, uh, obviously the Platinum is, is fitted with electric seats on both sides of the vehicle unlike the bottom of the range vehicle only has one electric seat on it. Um, all of the controls have been swapped from one side to the other. Uh, everything has been done correctly and we've retained all the original features of the original seats. Uh, simple things like uh, the memory position.
positions for the memory positions on the which were located up in this panel here as you can see across on the other side when we go to the other side we'll point that out uh, you can actually see that um, we've moved them across to that side and the door window switch controls have been moved from one side to the other side and they've been wired appropriately so they all work correctly. Uh, before we move across the other side of the vehicle we'll walk past the front of the vehicle and just show you some of the features of the conversion under the bonnet. The Tundra lends itself very nicely as a vehicle to be converted because it's got a very straight flat firewall in it, um, which is good in the fact that we actually don't need to cut the firewall and replace any of the panels at all. Um, we put, new, we put uh, new firewall panels and stiffening panels in where the booster is bolted on, but other than that, the actual panelling itself is very, very unmodified, so we've really retained the original look. What we have done is we've moved the computer, which is located now over on the right-hand side of the firewall, it used to be located on the left hand side, we've now moved that across to the right hand side. We had to move that because that's where the heater box air conditioning system is located in the vehicle so it would have interfered. Um, all of the brake lines have been uh, changed on this vehicle. We had to make new brake lines because of the location of the computer in the vehicle. Um, so as you can see all of our brake lines that have been fitted all have insulation uh, braiding coating on all of them. Uh, we've put that on all of our pipes, uh, whether it's air conditioning pipes or brake or power steering hoses. This vehicle doesn't have it done on the on the uh, on the um, air conditioning pipes because they're the originals. We actually haven't had to touch or change those whatsoever. So under the bonnet, this remains a very very simple, nice conversion. Um, the vehicle is fitted with a Toyota Land Cruiser power steering unit. Uh, it's a complete bolt in from one uh, from the the, the the Tundra and the. Land Cruiser share common uh, mounting points, so it mounts very, very nicely uh, into this vehicle. Um, we've had to machine some adapters on the end of the uh, on the rack uh, to take the original Toyota Tundra rack ends. Other than that, uh, it's been a bolt-in uh, conversion when it comes to steering. So again, nice and simple. Um, if we have a look at the wiper scuttle, we've retained the original wiper scuttle. Uh, however, we've used inserts. Um, to we put filler panels where it used to be on the where the uh, wiper arm for the driver's side used to be. We put a nice filler panel on that side. As you can see, we put an insert panel into the centre to allow for the passenger side wiper. And we've retained the original wiper Toyota wiper blades. We take those uh, arms, we modify them, and we aluminium weld them um, to suit the right-hand drive vehicle. Uh, so the wiper scuttle works very nicely. We've had to modify the actual wiper scuttle steel panel underneath. As you can see, it's got that sewn, the sewn uh, uh, insert on it. Um, that's all been uh, remanufactured, and uh, we've welded a new insert into it. It's been painted, and then we put a, a trim panel on the outside just to make it look nice. That had to be done to allow for the wiper motor to be located where it is. Um, all of the inside of the vehicle, we have uh, insulation on the inside of the vehicle, and we're actually considering, even though Toyota doesn't put an insulative cover on the uh, external firewall, we're actually considering making a, a, a cover to go onto the firewall, which would just quieten the vehicle even more. Um, it's just one of those things we believe will make the vehicle just better for the owner of it at the end of the day. So, other than that, under the engine bay, that's, uh, that's really all there is to say. Very, very simple as far as the conversion goes. One, actually, just a quick thing. On, on this side over here, we've got the we've got the mirror just to show you that we've fitted the mirror wedge uh, to the vehicle, and that mirror wedge there has been fitted uh, to obviously allow for additional uh, drivers view out of the passenger side mirror. Um, like all American cars, the offset of the mirror is it's handed to the driver's side, which is the left hand side. So all the vehicles need to be fitted with that um, that wedge, so that makes it easy to see for the driver. On the driver's side here, um, everything's been remodelled. We haven't used the original uh, surround. We make a new surround because it is handed from one side to the other side. So it looks symmetrical, it isn't. Um, so we've had to make that. Uh, we've maintained the original um, control panels here. That's all original. We haven't changed that at all. That's all there. We've moved the brake pedal, park brake pedal from the left-hand side across the right-hand side, as you can see located here. Um, all of our carpets, might be a little bit difficult to see, but all of our carpets run a stitch all the way around for the modified carpet. 
Um, the manufacturer just leaves it as a cut edge. We actually sew, put a nice sewn edge onto it. Um, it the, the vehicle's actually fitted with uh, knee airbags, both left and right. They're retained and are input into the new dash itself, and they're untouched and located in the mirror position. Um, that's actually quite a good feature of this vehicle. The centre console has been changed completely from uh, left to right. So we talked about the putting the the, stitch, the stitched inserts into it. That will be happening. But as you can see, so the gear shifter has been moved from the left-hand side across to the right-hand side of the vehicle. Um, that, in a nutshell, is uh, is uh, the the conversion on the Toyota Tundra. Um, oh yes, and just to recall, these are your memory positions uh, switches for your driver's seat, which will be moved from the left-hand side across to the right-hand side. Perfect.